in this article, uh, Mark Dowding, who's the Chief Investment Officer, RBC Blue Bay Asset Management, a catchy uh, title, is quoted as saying, the memory of the 2022 mini-budget was still etched into the psyche of guilt investors. What do you say to him? Listen, I think, ultimately, the UK national debt is at 100% of GDP now. Mm -hmm. Spend £102 billion on debt interest. I think any government that adds massively to the government borrowing is doing something fiscally uh, um, irresponsible in the long term. Uh, the Liz Truss government announced uh, one of the largest spending packages in UK history, the energy, yeah. uh, energy plan. Uh, that was one of the things that spooked the markets. That was a disastrous policy, helped... Drive her down. And the other side of that were the massive tax cuts. And at the time, the Taxpayers yep. Alliance said, mini budget, the most taxpayer friendly budget in recent we memory. And yet now, and the, the memory spending. of that budget is what potentially is making this government more cautious. Do you accept that? And do you accept you were wrong? <laughs> So uh, we support tax cuts of, of any government of any Even stripe. Even if they have that kind of cost? The other side of this, the ledger, and we, we said it at the same time on, on this exact same issue, was that the spending plan on energy costs, which was far, far higher than the tax cuts, was wildly irresponsible. So you wanted tax cuts and more austerity? We wanted, we we wanted, we want, well, listen, we haven't had austerity in this country for many, many years. Hey everyone, while the right-wing media and the Conservatives are blaming Labour's potential budget for investors' lack of enthusiasm towards Britain, they're conveniently ignoring the damage done by 14 years of Tory mismanagement, Brexit and Liz Truss's infamous mini-budget. Enter someone from a questionable think tank. These are the same types who are advising Truss during her time in number 10, celebrating her disastrous policies. This time, it's Elliot Keck from the oddly named Taxpayers Alliance, who claims that Britain hasn't experienced austerity for many years. In the article, Mark Dowding, the Chief Investment Officer at RBC Blue Bay Asset Management, is quoted as saying that the memory of the 2022 mini-budget is still etched into the psyche of guilt investors. When asked about this, Keck responds, the UK national debt is at 100% of GDP, and we're spending £102 billion on debt interest. Any government that adds significantly to borrowing is being fiscally irresponsible. He went on to acknowledge that the trusts, that trusts government's massive spending on energy was a mistake, but downplayed the impact on the mini-budget's tax cuts. The Alliance praised the mini-budget as the most taxpayer-friendly budget in recent memory, but now that its memory is haunting the current government, Keck is reluctant to admit that they were wrong. Instead, he insists on tax cuts and more austerity, claiming we haven't actually had austerity in this country for many years. Really? It seems Keck has forgotten that austerity, austerity has been a defining feature of Conservative policies since they took power. Whilst Rishi Sunak's administration may have increased spending slightly, austerity measures have been in place since the Tories came to power. The fact that Keck shows no shame in denying this is remarkable, and it raises the question, why is the BBC giving the Taxpayers Alliance a platform? These are the people who advise Liz Truss, yet Keck won't apologise or admit his organisation was wrong. Their agenda has always been about tax cuts for the wealthy and slashing public services. It's clear that they prioritise tax breaks for the rich over the well-being of ordinary people, even if it means public services are gutted. This is the real aim of the Taxpayers' Alliance, protecting the interests of the wealthiest by pushing the policies that benefit them while ordinary people suffer. The disdain for public services like the NHS or the, or the, or the welfare system entirely is evident. They oppose the idea of wealth redistribution and paying taxes to support society. The rich don't want to fund services they don't personally use, and they resent the idea of paying into a system that helps everyone. The rich back these shadowy think tanks like the Taxpayers Alliance, which in turn advise politicians such as Liz Truss. We all saw the consequences of Truss's policies. Tax cuts for the rich that weren't funded leading to economic chaos. Yet Keck has the audacity to claim that austerity hasn't been around, even though it's been a core Conservative policy for years. It's disgusting. Why is the BBC giving a platform to someone from a dodgy think tank? At the, at the very least, they should point out this affiliation with a controversial organisation. The Taxpayers Alliance is one of the think tanks celebrating Truss's mini-budget until it all went wrong. And before I finish, it's important to know that investor hesitation towards the UK is directly linked to the damage done by Truss's mini-budget, which is most likely to have long-term repercussions. But let me know what you think in the comments. I've been Jake from Just Jake, and as always, I will see you next time. You actually made it to the end of the video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, which, why haven't you already, is somewhere over there. And also, 
If you want to watch more videos, also check out over there. I've been Jake from Just Jake. See you later.